The ideas range from out of this world to just plain cool. In between a flower shop and a jewelry store on a Mesa, Arizona shopping strip is where it all comes to life. Heatsink Labs, a haven for hackers, is more like a clubhouse for inventors and the curious. Step inside and like-minded techies can be found tinkering and testing or creating something that could change the world. So the idea of thinking creatively and um, trying to solve your problems using the tools that you have in front of you and really head first solving those problems and then also like thinking outside of the box as well. Those are really the key traits of being a hacker and hacking something. The number of hacker spaces around the world has grown to more than 1,600. Heatsink, which opened its doors in 2009, provides 24-7 access to its dues-paying members, but it also allows the general public to experiment and engage at night. Well, the first day I got here, there was a guy programming a quadruped, that's a four-legged robot, that had two webcams for eyes, and he was programming the algorithm to tell how far things were away from the robot. So that, that made me feel like, wow, this, there's advanced people here. I don't know if I fit in. But the people here were very welcoming, and they helped me to understand that this is a community, and if, we want, if there's something you think you can do to help make it better, then you can do it. Hackers of all levels are a part of the collaboration by either lending a hand or acting as a sounding board. When you're surrounded by people who are always constantly making something, constantly trying to think outside of the box and think of new ways to do something, improve on what's already been there, uh, it's, that infects you and it's in a really nice positive way. The smattering of motherboards, computer chips and copper strips, helping to create the environment where ideas can flourish and projects take off. Emily Roseman, The Associated Press.